Hey, welcome back to We Be Kids again. If you've been following our stories for the last 18 months, you may recognise this spot behind me. I've been coming here telling stories in this place throughout the whole of the year. And if you don't recognise it, that might be because you've seen it looking very, very different. You may have seen it with no leaves at all, and I even told some stories here with snow falling down. You can check out all of those stories over on the website at webekids.net. There's also over 200 activities there for you to do with your family to boost your family well-being. So today I am going to tell you an old story. And this story is from Native America. It's a Native American story. And it is called Jumping Mouse. Now, a long, long time ago, in a field of tall grass, lived many, many, many mice. And these mice were mainly like ordinary mice. They were about this long. They had brown fur. They had little twitchy noses with whiskers. They had beady black eyes, small ears, and a long, wiry tail. And these mice spent most of the day doing what most mice do. They would hurry and scurry and nibble through the fields. But there was one mouse amongst them that was different. And this mouse, instead of hurrying and scurrying and nibbling, it would often spend its time running and jumping up in the sky. And for that reason, this mouse went by the name of jumping mouse. And the reason why this mouse would run and jump unlike any of the others is because he found nibbling and scurrying around boring. And when he jumped, he could see far off into the distance. He could see the distant snow-capped mountains, the early morning sunrise, the late afternoon sunsets, the changing of the colour in the sky as the seasons turned. And Jumping Mouse would often run down and scurry amongst the other mice and tell them about the wonderful things that it had seen when it was jumping high above the grasses. But none of the other mice were really interested. They were too busy, scurrying, nibbling, burrowing and worrying. You see, all of the mice in the field, they had two eyes. And did you know that all mice have two eyes? One of their eyes sees into the future and the other eye sees into the past. And all of the mice that were scurrying and nibbling and burrowing and worrying were focused on the things in the past. Even though they lived in this safe field, they were worried that bad things from the past were gonna happen again. And even though they had as much food and as much shelter and as much water as they could ever need, they worried that something terrible would happen in the future. And they spent all of their lives worrying about the past and worrying about the future. But Jumping Mouse, he was different in this way too. You see, Jumping Mouse, not only had he trained himself to jump high and notice all the beauty around him, but Jumping Mouse had also trained both of his eyes to see right now, right in the present moment. But the other mice would say to Jumping Mouse, be careful, there are so many things to worry about, there are so many threats and dangers. But Jumping Mouse would reply, look above the grass, there are so many things to be grateful for, there are so many beauties and there are so many wonders. And they agreed that they both saw the world in very different ways. 
And then one day, Jumping Mouse was running through the fields and jumping high up and landing and running and jumping. When he landed, he noticed that all the other mice had vanished. He ran and he jumped again. And as he looked up in the sky, he saw a beautiful bird, a hawk. It was so beautiful that Jumping Mouse jumped again to look even closely at it. And the hawk started heading down and Jumping Mouse noticed its beautiful feathers, its angular, cut, aerodynamic wings. As it got closer, he noticed the orange ring in its eye, the sharp beak, and then last of all, Jumping Mouse saw its beautiful, strong talons. And the hawk picked Jumping Mouse up out of the grass and flew off with him into the sky. And from that height, Jumping Mouse saw everything that he possibly ever wanted. When he thought that the world was beautiful from just the tops of the grass, now he knew the real beauty of the world. And just like magic, Jumping Mouse became that hawk. And that hawk soared and stretched and travelled far and wide. And in doing so, Jumping Mouse learned that he could live forever. Jumping Mouse a Native American story with many, many, many lessons. I really like that story because it teaches us that even though everyday life keeps us busy and often makes us worry about the past and worry about the future, it teaches us that if we just stop, we are present in the moment that there is so much beauty to be grateful for. There is so much love and there is so much kindness surrounding us all the time if we just take a moment to stop. Somebody once said to me that the present moment, the now, is called the present because it is a gift. And what I love about that story is how Jumping Mouse trained himself to see in the here and the now and he was rewarded with all the beautiful gifts that the world had to offer. So I hope you enjoyed that story. It's a lovely story about being in the present moment, about casting our worries aside and about noticing and being grateful for the everyday things that are around us. So thanks for joining me for this story. I hope it brings you joy and peace. And I hope it also helps you forget about your worries, even just for a slight moment. Remember, you can check out more stories like this at webekids.net. And all that we ask is that you spread the kindness and you share all of these stories with your friends and help these stories spread all around the world. So thank you for stopping by at Weeby Kids and we'll see you again soon sometime. Bye.